love strongly and unconditionally. Why? Hi, I'm Earl Wu. Join me for a talk where the early birds catch the early talks. This is Early Talk. As a song title goes, what the world needs now is love. This song was released on April 15, 1965, and until now, it's the same message. In this broken world, it needs mending, lots of mending, lots of channels of healing. Are you willing to take part of this? If you are, then you must ensure yourself that you have a heart that learns to think of others, enter into their world, serve them, and most importantly, love them. You can choose to love even if you have fears, worries, struggles, pains, broken hopes, or broken dreams. And if each of us can do that, I'm sure the world will become a better place. So if we do that, what can it do to us? It can make us know how to let go of conditions. I will do this to you if you do this. I will behave like this if you are this. I will love you if you will do this. Doing this slowly suffocates and kills each other. It eventually sucks the life out of our relationships. I've been there, done that, and you will come into a point where you'll have to learn how to decrease expectations, increase appreciation, and let go of conditions. Because making conditions makes you controlling, and nothing good comes from being controlling. It's painful, never easy, but at least you can pat yourself in the back for doing something good. The change may not come right away, but in time, it will come. It can also make us know how to leave our comfort zone. Expect pain and difficulty to come along the way, but it can be done. The uncomfortable things we feel can actually lead us to learn new things and prompt us to apply them to become better versions of ourselves. Our lives become more significant as we expand ourselves to what life can give us and we can be of great help and need to those who are going through that discomfort. And having this kind of love makes us know how to care. Caring is fulfilling and liberating. We like seeing the best happening in people when we uplift them in their deepest need. Caring is also costly. It takes time, energy, resources, and willingness to give the people what they need. If your heart is full, you wouldn't care about it. If it's a most difficult person, it can hurt. It can be struggling. And if we come to a point where we cannot give our patience and understanding anymore, when we become mathematicians and justifying people, one thing I have to keep in mind, and I'll have to every time, is that we are all recipients of grace and mercy. We were once difficult people to someone. We are loved strongly and unconditionally, even if we don't deserve it. We are treated well, even when we deserve to be treated wrongly for our wrongdoings. And since we know what it's like, it makes sense to give that same grace and mercy to that difficult person. If there are hindrances to that, we need healing to touch us, and unconditional love to keep us alive again. After all, we're made to care for other people. What people appreciate the most is letting them know how much we care. Love is difficult, but it's worth pursuing, and it's the best of all. So what about you? How much do you love on a scale from 1 to 100? What are your hindrances to love strongly and unconditionally? What can you do to remind yourself to live in love every day? 
Thanks for joining me. Until next time, I'm Earl Wui, and this has been Early Talk.